Today, we're going to set up PlayFlow with Fishnet. Getting started with Fishnet and PlayFlow is easy and only takes a couple of seconds. First, make sure that you have the latest version of the PlayFlow and Fishnet packages imported in Unity. First thing we'll do is navigate to the Fishnet examples folder and open up the character controller prediction scene. Once we've opened the scene, we can go ahead and let PlayFlow know what is going to be our server scene. So we need to add this to our build settings. So let's add the open scene to our build settings and let's open up the PlayFlow window. The PlayFlow window is our one-stop shop where we can manage all the settings of our servers. First thing we'll do here is get our token. So by pressing the get token button, we'll get into the PlayFlow dashboard where we can sign in and go ahead, copy your token, and paste it right in to the token field. Next thing we'll do is also copy the PlayFlow port and paste it into our network manager's transport. So we can scroll down to our transport and in the port field, we can go ahead and paste the PlayFlow port. Then we'll save the scene and open up the PlayFlow cloud window. Here, we can go ahead and select our server scene and here I'm selecting the character controller prediction scene and we're going to press upload server. Now the server upload could take some time so we can always use the get upload status button to see if a new version of our server has been uploaded. Once our server is uploaded we can go ahead choose a server location anywhere in the world and go ahead and start our server. This is going to tell PlayFlow to start a server in that region for your game. Once our server is started, we can see that it has a launching status and an IP address associated with it. We can press the refresh server list button until we get the running status. Once our server is running, we can go ahead, copy the IP address and put it into our network manager. So we can open up our network manager, go to our transport, and in the client address, we can go ahead and put in the IP. Then we can go ahead and press play and connect as a client to our game. Now you can package your game and share it with your friends and they'll all also be able to connect to your server. If you're on the free plan, your server will only run for 60 minutes before you need to start a new one. On the paid plans, you can start as many servers as needed. As always, thanks for checking out PlayFlow. If you'd like to learn more or have any questions, leave a comment or consider joining our Discord community. Thanks for watching.